Want to know what the best build for your smart weapons that's going to give you 100% critical hit chance and not let you die and wreck everybody that comes your way? Well, today I present you my smart weapon crit build. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hello, this is Laserboard, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today, I want to present to you guys a build that's going to have you guys almost smacking everything that comes your way. This build is focusing on three major things. Number one is the use of smart weapons, allowing you to get 100% critical hit, hit chance. Number two, focusing primar primarily on critical damage. And number three, focusing primarily on survivability. This build is by far one of the best builds, if not the best builds on the whole entire internet. You guys are definitely going to want to put this build together. Now, there is a lot of components that you're going to need to compile. But if this video gets to 500 likes, I will upload the save file of this build on my Discord channel. So if you guys want to see that happen, let's get to 500 likes. And that way, you guys don't have to put it together. It'll already be put together for you guys. But with that being said, guys, let's take a look at this build. How does it work? What do you need to do? And what do you need to apply to make it effective? So let's go into our character for our character guys when you start off your character if you're building this from scratch you're going to want to make sure you set your points accordingly and you put the you know the first starting set of points that you have into the following categories you want to make sure you put uh six to technical ability six into cool and you're going to want to make sure you put the rest remaining point onto reflexes these are the three main ones we're going to be focusing on reflex technical ability and cool the rest of the points you're going to put into body and we're going to be using just a little bit of stuff from body that's going to help make this a little bit more survival now we're going to go ahead and dive into the skill tree real quick and show you guys exactly what you're going to be looking here so we are focusing on smart weapons smart weapons tend to be really good with shotguns really good with smgs and assault rifles that's what we're focusing primarily on the assault tree the main focal points here is this one right here main bullets which is going to increase the critical damage with rifles and some machine guns by 35 percent so this is a huge one guys you're definitely going to want to make sure you get that and of course your main priority is making sure you fill this up really really fast because you want to make sure you get all the uh all the advantages of doing that so for example on here you guys notice that once we hit level seven it's going to increase our critical chance by five percent when using a submachine gun and we also get another advantage here let me show you guys once we scroll through here here uh, we're going to get another advantage which is this one right here at 11 at 11 which is going to increase our critical damage by 15 percent and then i know we get another boost which is i think it's almost towards the end oh no okay so this is just reducing recoil so that's why we're not picking up any recoil uh, points here we're just primarily picking up uh you know the critical chance so i'm gonna leave the screen right there so you guys can see where the points are allocated so you guys can know exactly what to put and where to put it now we don't have nothing on handguns we don't have nothing on blades it's just pretty much all focused in the assault tree now for the reflex tree we were just went there for the technical ability tree we are spending a lot of points in crafting now crafting is extremely important guys it is one of the most important things in the game i'm gonna make a separate video on where like the most important ones but like, crafting is definitely high up there we definitely want to make sure that this highlight this one which is called waste not want not which is when dismantling any item you get attached mods back really important because this is going to help you get all the mods you need in order to make this build work wonderful so you're definitely going to want to highlight that one right there and of course you want to make sure you're allowed to craft legendary items you want to make sure you're also able to get these right here that when you craft your weapon and when you craft your armor you're going to be getting a boost and in addition to that you also want to make sure you pick this one this is extremely important which is uh x which is grants 20 percent chance of crafting an item for free so that's going to be right there guys i'm going to leave the the screen right there so you guys can check it out and see exactly what i put together so you guys know what to put we are going to go into engineer just a little bit due to the fact that engineer is going to give us something really good we're going to be spending a little bit of points into the technical guns because unfortunately there is no smart weapon sniper rifle that i know of and as of right now i really want one just to make sure we get those high damage ones and we're going to be using a technical weapon to actually do that so we want to make sure we get into that also you want to make sure you tap into these right here which is your grenade uh this is not a requirement but if you want to allocate some points and you plan on using a grenade there are some really really op grenades in here in the game 
I will have a best grenade video coming up very shortly, but grenades are really important. I love using the grenades, but you don't have to, if you're not going to use a grenade, then you don't have to put it in here. So these are grenade points. And then we're also using this one once again, grenade damage. And then we have uh, immunity grenades. So if you throw a grenade, you're not going to hit. And theoretically speaking, we're going to be picking this one up, which is going to be passive, increases the chance to multiply for tech weapons. So anything that gives us damage to tech weapons is extremely important. And of course, I believe it's here that gives us the critical chance. Hold on, let me see. It gives us crit chance once we hit level 20 when uh, we are using tech weapons. Here, here it is that. So level 15, we increase our critical damage by 50% when using tech weapons. Really important that you level this completely up. All right, so that's the technical. Now for the cool guys, we're going to dump a little bit of points into stealth. The reason why we're dumping points into stealth is because we're going to be using weapons that are able to use poison. And as you guys see right here, majority of the things we're using here is for poison abilities. Damage with poison is doubled, uh, deals more damage to human enemies. This is extremely important, guys. You want to pick that one up. So these are all poison attributes, except for this one right here, which is extremely important, which is upon entering combat, critical chance is increased by 50% for seven seconds. Really important. We're also going to be tapping into cold blood quite a lot. And the reason is because this is going to give us a lot of sur survivability. And it's also going to let us output a lot of damage with that cold blood when it's activated. So that's pretty much it. And for body guys, we're just going to be picking up these right here, which is going to be the pack a meal, which is an increased carry capacity. I like to have enough carry capacity because I like to you know, hoard a couple things. And we have uh, this one, which is going to re slowly regenerate your hair in combat. And invincible, which is going to increase your max health by 30%. Really important, giving us a nice survivability. So that's pretty much the whole complete attribute set now let's take a look at other things that i feel like are really important that i need to mention which is my cyberware cyberware we're going to be focusing on three primary up uh, three things that you really need so number one is this one right here which is heal on kill which is going to instantly restore 10 percent of your health after defeating an enemy really important giving you that nice survivability we're also going to be doing this one which is called a uh, bio monitor which is going to instantly restore 100 percent of your health when it drops to 15% below cooldown, 120 seconds, really good to give you that nice survivability. We're also going to be focusing on this one, which is called Metabolic Editor, which is going to tie in perfectly with our Poison Atrophy because Poison Effect causes you to regenerate health instantly or uh, from uptaking damage. So when you get hit with Poison, you're going to be getting your health back. Another one that's extremely important is this one, uh, Kerno Sovic. This one's going to allow you to aim and shoot while dodging bullets, and it's going to slow down that motion. But when you slow down that motion, it's going to allow you to actually be able to, uh, you know, I'll put a little bit more damage. I'll explain how. We're also highlighting this one, which is subdermal armor, which is going to increase your armor by 200%. And here in the operating system, guys, we're using the Sandivestian MK4. If you guys want to know where to pick up all these mods, I have a video on the best shop locations, and you're going to be able to pick all these mods from that video. So definitely check it out. I'll leave the link in the annotations as well. And here, guys, on this one, you're actually able to apply mods. Unfortunately, I hadn't, I wasn't able to apply any mods in here. But basically, the only mod you want to be looking for is the one that gives you the, I think it's plus 15 or plus 10 critical chance. And I'll explain what that looks like right here once we get to this one right here. And then the other one that's extremely important is this one, of course, Smart Link. Smart Link is going to allow you to use the smart weapons, which is really, really effective. And last but not least, guys, this is going to be the projectile launcher. Now, for the projectile launcher, I use this one in case you're not using grenades. This is really helpful. It's just going to put the people to sleep. And this one right here is going to increase your armor by 7%. And this is the one that it says that increases the critical chance by 10%. Uh, 10%. So you could put this on your, on your arm and it's going to give you that boost. And you could also apply that one to this one right here, which I didn't have one. So that's going to give us an additional 20% critical chance. Now, one thing I did want to mention here that I kind of overlooked is this one, the, opti the eye optic. For the eye optic, you want to make sure... You have this one right here, which is the trajectile analysis, which is going to increase headshot damage bonus by 50%. You also want to make sure you have the threat detector, which is automatically going to highlight enemies. So this is really good because you're not going to have to pin enemies. The enemies are already going to be pinned for you, which makes it really good. And you have want to have the weak spot detector, which is going to increase your critical chance by 5%. Really important. As you guys see here, stacking a lot in crit damage. That's a pretty much overall everything you're going to need of the cyberware. Now it's time to take a look at our inventory. So for our inventory, guys, we're using a couple weapons. Of course, we're using the divine divided. We stand really important weapon, really effective against enemies. 
this is going to be extremely important we don't have any mods applied into it right now but we're going to be adding some but what's cool about this one is that it has the plus 25 poison chance so we're going to be able to do that poison effect which is going to allow us to do even more damage because as you guys know we put stuff into our poison ability if you want to see a guide or where to pick this one weapon up let me know in the comment section down below i'll be more than happy to put that together for guy for you guys we also have 105 critical damage 52 critical chance i'll show you a little bit later in the video once i apply the mods how effective this weapon is then we also have this one right here which is the, the chong i actually do have a video on how to pick this one up so if you want to check that out i'll link it up in the notations and in the description once again guys giving us critical chance critical damage physical damage and that you were able to pick this one up with poison i wasn't able, i haven't been able to roll one with but you are able to last but not least guys we're using the skippy now the skippy is going to allow you to do shock damage and critical chance and that headshot damage you're able to roll this one where it always does headshots so it's going to be extremely important that you select the right uh, you know the right command when you pick this up if you want to know where to pick up the skippy and where to find it once again annotations and also in the description but you want to level this up to legendary if you guys want to as well now the other weapon i would recommend in here which i don't have here on my uh inside my armory but i do have it is the breakthrough that's going to be a tech weapon which is a sniper rifle that you could probably use uh, to get those headshot multipliers and use that tech ability which i highly recommend it's going to help you kill those major bosses really fast really easy with one headshot so as you guys see here these are my stats let me show you guys what i have in my armor so the way you want to do this guys is you want to apply one dead eye you only need one these do not stack I'll have a video on what mods stack and what mods don't stack uh, later on but basically you want to do dead eye on on here and you want to do armadillo mods which are going to give you the advantage of having that max armor now the other mod you want to have in here is bully which is going to increase your critical damage and then armadillo mods and the last one you want to have in here is fortuna which is going to increase your critical chance by 15 percent and armadillo mods everything else on my armor is armadillo mods and then we're good to go now one thing i do want to recommend please guys try to at least get yourselves this one this epic mad dogs mk30 instantly restores 80 percent of your health so boom fast you're able to come back in combat which you really theoretically won't need it that much but it's always good to have now that we put everything together guys let's show you guys exactly what this build is capable of doing anything we lost contact with him a few days ago we don't plan to uh-huh understood i'll inform his family he attacked me Thank you so much. 